And joining us now is Yoni Ben Menachem, expert on Palestinian affairs and a senior research fellow at the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. Yoni, Palestinian Authority President Abbas and a Hamas delegation are currently both in Saudi Arabia at the same time. Is that by chance? I mean, what is each looking for from the Saudis? Well, uh, for uh, Mahmoud Abbas, of course, it's not the first uh, time, but uh, Hamas uh, was boycotted by Saudi Arabia uh, for a few years. Uh, they are, Hamas is considered a terror organization in Saudi Arabia, and there are uh, a few dozens of uh, Hamas activists in uh, Saudi jail. And uh, this is the report and development for uh, Hamas because this is uh, some sort of a rapprochement between uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Hamas because of the agreement that uh, Saudi Arabia signed with Iran. Uh, now Sa Saudi Arabia is getting closer to all the members of the evil uh, axis headed by Iran, and Hamas is part of this axis. Now, what does it actually mean for Israel? I mean, no one ever heard that we want to normalize relations with Saudi Arabia during the Abraham Accords. Didn't happen till now. What does that mean for Israel? The pro the problem uh, with Saudi Arabia is that uh, they made a U-turn and they now are joining the the axis uh, of uh, Russia, uh, Iran, and China uh, in the Middle East. They uh, are. Uh, breaking away from uh, the the axis, uh, the Western axis headed by the United States. And this is happening uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first uh, reason is that uh, they are uh, very concerned by uh, the fact that the United States, uh, the Biden administration, uh, is not so active in the Middle East and cannot secure uh, the safety of uh, Saudi Arabia from the Iranian threat. So uh, if you can't uh, beat Iran, uh, join Iran. This is now the new policy of uh, Mohammed bin uh, Salman. The second reason is that Mohammed bin Salman uh, made a mistake uh, in 2000, 2015 when he led uh, an Arab coalition against Yemen, against the Houthi the Yemen in uh, uh, in uh, Yemen, the w which are who are loyal to Iran, and uh, this brought uh, a lot of uh, misery to Saudi Arabia because the Houthi uh, rebels they attacked uh, uh, cities and uh, oil uh, facilities in Saudi Arabia with uh, cruise missiles and uh, uh, accurate uh, drones, and he wants to stop the war, and he knows that the only uh, power that can stop the war is the Iranian uh, regime, uh, who controls actually the uh, mil the militias of the Houthis. So uh, we see, as I said, two reasons, two major reasons for uh, Saudi Arabia to change its policy. Now on to something else. Turning abroad, Foreign Minister Eli Cohen was in Azerbaijan, then Turkmenistan. What message is Israel trying to send Iran? It's really close to the border. What does that mean, actually? What message are we trying to send now? Well, it's no uh, secret that uh, these uh, countries are close to the Iranian uh, border, and uh, Israel uh, is trying to show uh, that uh, it's tightening its relations with the uh, Azerbaijan and Turkmenistan uh, to show the Iranians that we have allies uh, very close to your border. But uh, I think Azerbaijan is more important uh, and the cooperation, the security cooperation between Israel and Azerbaijan is very, very important. Uh, the uh, Iranians are very worried from it, and uh, they claim that uh, uh, there is a base of the Israeli Mossad in, uh, in Azerbaijan, and that uh, Israel attacked uh, targets inside Iran with drones that uh, took off from uh, uh, Azerbaijan to uh, to attack Iranian targets, and that the Israeli Mossad is uh, handling uh, uh, spies uh, inside Iran from the base in uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, so they are very well from the security and intelligence activity of Israel in Azerbaijan. Uh, this is uh, very worrying for, for the Iranians. Yoni Ben-Menachem, very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.